Hello, my name is Lord Galaxy, but you can call me Floor. Today, I got... Uh, okay, so this package was actually supposed to arrive at, at my birthday, but it got delayed until today, which is fine, because I actually got something extra in that package that I did not expect. Alright, here it is. So... There were originally meant to be two phones here, but now there are three. Let's open the package up. So the first phone is this. The HTC One M9. It's in rough condition. This cost, I believe, under $44. Where's the power button on this thing? Oh, it's... Where is it? Is it here? Oh yeah, it is here. Oh man, yeah. Yeah, this thing is absolutely shot, at least on the outside. Oh my god, oh, man, yeah, this, this, is, this is pretty rough. But hey, it does work. All of these three work. Let me just power it on. Oh, crap. Ooh. Might be a little bit difficult to power on. Man. Oh, there we go. Wow. Thanks for the jump scare, bud. Anyway, this does work. Alright, next phone is this Galaxy S7 Edge in its case. Yeah, it's on Verizon. I believe it's not the volume one. Is this dead? Uh, okay, no, it's not dead. Uh, it's on the setup screen. Okay. I'll set this up later. Let's turn on this to seven edge if it's not already turned on. So this is in immaculate condition, and I actually have another phone to compare it with. Oh, well, never mind, not so immaculate. The fingerprint scanner is looking a little bit rough, but hey, that's all right. And I'll compare it with, to this phone. Let's see if... So, at least from the pictures, this does not look like it has any amylid burn-in, but this obviously does have that. Okay, so this is like a completely white screen. It's the best way to see burn-in. This does not have any burn-in. That is fantastic. This is in mint condition without any burn-in whatsoever. Well, besides the fingerprint scanner, but like you can replace that. That is so cool. This has a lot of burn-in. Okay, and I feel like the best way for me to show that is just by opening up a Google but yeah, you can see it's 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 pretty rough. And finally, we have this LG K4. Uh, it's very cracked. Uh, so by the way, this S7 Edge was actually free, which is even more insane. That is so cool. And this LG K4 was about twelve dollars. Let's power it up real quick. Oh, it's powered up already. Um, I'm assuming it's on the setup screen. No, it's already set up. Okay, cool. Let's check the Android version of this thingy. Okay, settings. Well, I mean, it looks like the Android 6 interface. Let's see if it is actually the Android 6. Nope, it's Android 5.1.1. That's okay, though. That's, that's fine. Okay. Okay, that's actually a pretty neat sounding screen. Now let's see how it sounds. Okay, so it actually does have a neat uh, startup. So it has the same startup screen as the LG G4, which I brought right here. Wow, this is a giant compared to the K4, even though this was actually released later. 
uh, yeah, a crap ton of games have been installed on the G4. I don't think this has nearly enough storage for me to do that. So, yep. Yeah, that sucks a little bit, but hey. How much battery does this have? Honestly, I don't even know. Uh, I will set all of these three up. Oops, I accidentally entered a game. Well, my bad. And I'll compare the G4 to the K4, and I'll compare these two S7 edges. So, yeah, I'll be right back. Hello. I'm back. Anyway. So... I actually have good news. Uh, all of these three work perfectly fine. There's no issues. And that's fantastic. There are some bad news too as well, though. So the bad part about this HTC One M9 well, there are actually a surprisingly amount, a uh, surprising amount of bad parts. The speakers sound tinny, and the frame is looking pretty rough, and the lock screen doesn't change, and the Verizon apps are getting a little bit too much for me, and the battery drains very quickly. Like it's worrying how quickly it drains. And of course, the uh, of course the phone overheats really quickly, and that is not something. Like this is overheating so much. Like this does not happen on any other phone that I have, and it should not happen on to any phone ever. And it's draining really, really quickly, as you can see right here. Thankfully, I wouldn't say that the battery is like completely dead, but. It's not far off that. Okay. So this doesn't really have many comparison points at all. So we'll just, we'll just put that to the side. This is a fairly cool phone for under 40 bucks, but I'd say that this is just like a, it's a very slightly different version of the LG G4. In fact, they're the exact same size and they have the same curvature and the exact same weird button layout. And they both have the double tap to wake feature, which is actually a cool feature. Wait, did, wait, did it just turn itself off? Come on. Or is it, was it, okay, there we go. I guess it was a triple tap to wake. Yeah, this is pretty cool. However, unfortunately, as you can tell, that uh, it did take quite a while to set up all of these three phones. And if we compare, so I guess it would be more fair to compare this HTC to the LG G4, even though they were released in different, no, I think, no, they were released in the exact same year. So the positives about this one, are the fact that uh, this is running Android 7.0, meanwhile this is running Android 6.0. This has an aluminum body, this one has a plastic body. This has a slightly longer lasting battery, which is great. The camera though, I'd say it's pretty similar to the camera on the LG G4. I haven't seen much of a difference. And the display, I am definitely going to go out on a limb and say that this display is better. But maybe, just maybe, this is a 1440p setting. Honestly, I don't even want to see what that looks like. Purely because I know that uh, I will have to give up on that feature. Because it would drain the absolute living hell out of the battery. But... Okay, it does not have that. Oh yeah, speaking of the LG K4 that just shows it in the notifications, this was the phone that was supposed to be compared with the LG G4. Also, the uh, there is another negative with this one, and that is obviously the fact that it overheats quicker. This also overheats at an uncanny rate, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't overheat as much, and it doesn't overheat as quickly. 
as this one does. So yeah, that's one. And that's one positive towards the LG G4. Okay, so they're actually fairly similar. Surprisingly enough, I did not expect these two to be similar. Oh yeah, by the way, the speakers sound much tinnier on this one than on this, which honestly surprises me. These two are the main speakers. You know, these two are the main speakers in the ATC. I mean, it's still two speakers, so I kind of get it. All right, now let's get into the phone that uh, we were actually supposed to compare the LG G4 with, the LG K4. So the LG K4 works pretty well. Yes, it is quieter, but it is pretty smooth. And the Google Play Store does work. So this also took the longest by far to set up. Like, I am not joking when I say it took a while to set up. And also despite running Android 5.1.1 for some reason, YouTube doesn't work on this, which is really odd. So yeah, that really, really sucks. But otherwise, cool phone. And especially cool for $12. Now for these two. So this S7 Edge was literally free, even though this would be worth a ton of money because it does not have any screen burn-in. It is completely set up and brand, well, in brand new condition, I'd argue. Yeah. And it has a case on it. The only thing that it doesn't have is a box. But even then, like, Galaxy S7 Edges are not cheap here. I really just want to make that clear. The two that I have received are free, yes. But that's because I've received both of them from relatives. Yes, these two are from relatives. And as a result, this technically counts as being part of the birthday lot. So the birthday lot, I'd say that it was about uh, $50, maybe a little bit more, $50, $55. And for what I got, like if we just separate these two phones, I'd say that it was still worth it. Like it's, it's pretty cool. These two phones are really, really cool additions to the collection. It's sad that this one does not have a startup sound, but that's, that's no big deal. It's, it's still it's still a cool phone and this this just makes everything better this absolutely is worth more than both of these phones put together so overall i actually really enjoy this phone a lot all right i'll see you guys next time bye